All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the problem nine to the power of 900 minus nine to the power of 901. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by evaluating my terms. So we have nine to the power of 900 and nine to the power of 901. And these two terms are pretty similar, except that the exponent for 9 to the power of 900 is 1 less than the exponent for 9 to the power of 901. So the easiest way to solve this <clears throat> is to simplify this as much as we can. And a way to do that is to factor out a term. Well, 9 to the power of 900 is actually a factor of 9 to the power of 901. So all we have to do is rewrite 9 to the power of 901 as something times 9 to the power of 900. Well, we can use property of, properties of exponents to do this. So I'm actually going to rewrite 9 to the power of 901 as 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. And now I can use the exponential property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I get 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. So now from here, these two terms have the number 9 to the power of 900 in them. So I'm going to factor out 9 to the power of 900, which is what I said I was going to do at the beginning of the video. So now I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9 to the power of 1. And this is equal to 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9, because 9 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 9. Now, 1 minus 9 is equal to negative 8, so I get 9 to the power of 900 times negative 8. <clears throat> now, from here, I said I was going to simplify this as much as possible, and we can't really get the exact value because 9 to the power of 900 is such a big number that we can't actually get the exact value for that. However, what we can get is the simplified value, and we're going to simplify it as much as possible. So I'm actually going to move this negative sign to the front. So I get negative 9 to the power of 900 times 8. And this gets me negative 3 squared to the power of 900 times 2 to the power of 3. We're simplifying these terms as much as possible. So I'm going to use a quick exponential property. I say that a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n on 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 900. So I get negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 2 to the power of 3. So this is my final solution to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and even show this to any of your friends and family. That would support me a lot. I have a bunch of other videos similar to these on my channel. And if you're up for any challenges, I have a bunch of those. So please make sure to check them out. And thank you for watching. Bye. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 2 to the power of 25 minus 2 to the power of 24. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 2 to the power of 25 as 2 to the power of 24 plus 1. So I have this minus 2 to the power of 24. And the reason I did this is because we want both of these to be the same. We want to have two to the two two to the power of twenty fours. So the best way of changing two to the power of twenty five as two to the power of twenty four times something is to rewrite this as two to the power of twenty four plus one. So now I can use the property a to the power of m plus n 
is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So now 2 to the power of 24 plus 1 turns into 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 1. And I still have this minus 2 to the power of 24. Now, from here, what I'm going to do is factor out 2 to the power of 24. Because notice how both of these terms have 2 to the power of 24 in them. So, I get 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 24 is just 2 to the power of 1. And negative 2 to the power of 24 divided by 2 to the power of 24 is just negative 1. So I get 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 24 times 2 minus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 24 times 1. And this is just anything times 1 is obviously just equal to itself. So this is just equal to 2 to the power of 24. Now, from here, I'm going to write this as 2 to the power of 12 times 2. So, the reason I did this is because I can now use the property a to the power of n times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 12 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2. And 2 to the power of 12, well, 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2. 2 to the power of 2 is double of 2 to the power of 1, so 4. And 2 to the power of 3 is double of 2 to the power of 2, which is 8. So this pattern goes on, and I keep on doubling this. until I reach 2 to the power of 12, which is equal to 4,096. So this is my value for 2 to the power of 12. So now I get 4,096 squared. Now, what most people would do, well, first of all, 4,096 squared is the same thing as 4,096 times 4,096. And from here, what most people would do is they would just multiply this like this. So they do 4096 times 4096 and use the conventional method to multiplying it. However, this method takes way too long and it's really easy to make an error using this method. So instead, to more easily solve this, I'm going to rewrite this as 4000 plus 96 times 4000 plus 96. And now I can use a distributive property. So I get 4,000 squared plus 4,000 times 96 plus 4,096, 4,000 times 96 plus 96 squared. Now, from here, four thousand squared. Well, this is simple because all we have to do is four squared, which is sixteen, and then a thousand squared, which is a million. So a million has six zeros. So all we have to do is add six zeros to the end of this. So I get sixty million. It's four thousand squared plus four thousand times ninety-six 
well, four, four times 96 is 384. So then all we have to do is add three zeros to that. So I get 384,000. And then this should be 4,000. So plus, again, 4,000 times 96, which is 384,000. Plus 96 squared, which is 9,216. So now all we have to do is add all of these up, which is fairly simple. So I get 16 million. Plus, let's first start by adding up 384,000 plus 384,000. So that's going to be 768,000 plus 9,216. And now this is equal to 16 million plus 768,000 plus 9,216, which is 7,000 or sorry, 777,216. And now for my final step, I just have to add this to 16 million. So we don't have to worry about the millions place. So I just get 16,777,216. So this is my answer to this problem. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like because I have many more videos like this on my channel and my channel, which you guys can try to solve. And if you're up for challenges, I have a bunch of those as well. So please make sure to subscribe and thank you. Bye.